Hey guys, Nick here. Early morning. Just want to, before we pack this guy up, I just want to show you guys this turbo. It's a VF20G. So uh, what we do, we have this custom uh, 20G compressor wheel that mates to a uh, the OEM VF39, 43, 48, 52 turbine wheel. It's all the same turbine wheels it's called the RHF55. Uh, this one here in particular we clip. Uh, we have a dyno chart on the website under a uh, turbine wheel clipping. It has about uh, 15 wheel torque and 15 wheel HP through the whole power band. Uh, it's been dyno proven, uh, back to back testing, same turbo, same car, nothing changed. Uh, just within the tune got changed and they were able to yield that. And I think even at the end uh, it gained about 2 PSI on the cast wheel, cast compressor wheel. Everything stayed stock. Uh, with the clip so that's what that's about the clip and then uh made it to this uh 20g compressor wheel as you can see this is the the biggest one we can fit in this stock housing and that combined with this uh our porting i'm not sure if you can see it here so that's gasket match cnc porting all the way around so this porting by itself again stock wheels stock uh stock every well not stock everything but everything else was left uh, to the original before the test and after the test the uh, the porting got us uh, around around 300 rpm gain is full I'm just going off the top of my head again that's on the website I don't have all these editing things to edit that thing that the dyno graph in this video um, so gain about 300 rpm a spool uh, gain about 50 and that means 30 torque wheel torque at the beginning because the spool kicks in to 300 rpm sooner so that shifts up the power band right off the top and then uh, a, we gain about 15 20 wheel horsepower at the end and uh, yeah it holds more boost too so the combine the porting with the turbine clip and the compressor upgrade and you got a VF48 on steroids the same if you get a dyno graph of uh, the 2, two liter the 2.5 with any stock turbo tune fully maxed out you get that dyno graph and you get this upgrade it's going to be the same graph just on steroids just like just amped up so it's the best uh, best upgrade a lot of shops have seen that retains that low end and makes more power because everyone wants more power but nobody wants to lose the spool right so this is exactly what you want if you want more power with the same spool it doesn't get better than this um, you can step up to a ball bearing that's like three grand and and you still get that weird at least you guys the graphs that goes which just ramps up at the end there we don't get this with this. This you get the whole power band at the beginning. Everything's the same as the stock turbo, just amplified 30, 40 wheel horse wheel torque. <clears throat> so it's a really great uh, upgrade. Um, and you can reuse your stock turbo. We send us your stock turbo and we upgrade it. We usually have uh, spare parts in stock, so it's kind of a, a quicker turnaround. Um, and we also offer on this one, we didn't have it. But this guy is going to external because he had the boost creeping issue. But we do, I'll show you in another video, is uh, we have a flapper upgrade. We machine out, CNC machine out the, the housings and we make a custom flapper. I think the surface area is 33% larger than the stock. So that with an upgraded wastegate and the boost creeping is gone. So you don't need to get an expensive external setup and and be all loud and then uh, you gotta tie in the external back to your downpipe because it's too heat score. So with that uh, wastegate upgrade, uh, it's great for, it eliminates boost creep for virtually. So we'll talk about that in another video. Um, so yeah, that and then uh, there's not a lot of guys people know, but we do the same upgrade in the VF52s. <clears throat> so this is all the machine out, polished out, ready to rock. We have the upgraded uh, waste gate, upgraded turbine, everything available for the 52 also. Biggest, baddest you can do to the stock IHI turbo. Uh, I think that, so. VF37 is a twin scroll. Uh, we could upgrade that one, it's got the same components. Uh, VF39, VF43, 48, and 52. Uh, we could do this upgrade. Another video we'll talk about the FA20 turbos that we're gonna upgrade, the twin scrolls. That's gonna come up next. Um, yeah, there isn't much of a, any stock turbos out there that we uh, we can't upgrade. So if you have any uh, requirements or any inquiries or anything you want to do, uh, send us our send them our way. All right, thanks guys. We'll talk soon.